All right. So two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. That's five. So that's nineteen, twenty, twenty-five. Plus seven is thirty-two. Uh, thirty-six, forty-one. Plus six, forty-seven. We have forty-seven of those. Beautiful. There we go. Why did that update? Oh, I know why. Hang on. <coughs> Let's just do the chart data range. Is this? Beautiful. Okay, I gotta edit this real quick. To do that. There we go. Beautiful. Delete that. And there's my forty-seven right there. Okay, beautiful. How many took three? Took three. Took three. So heads, tails, heads, or tails, heads, tails, beautiful. 5, 10, 13, 16, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 of those. All right, how many took four? It took four flips until we saw everything. So heads, tails, tails, heads, or tails, heads, heads, tails, I guess the only possibilities. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Beautiful. Eight there. Awesome. How about five? It took us five. You had five of those, Shelly? Holy crap. Four tails and one head. Awesome. Four tails and a head or four heads and a tail. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine of those. Good. How about uh, six? How about you six? Joe got one of those. We got. Wait a minute. This is. Danielle. I was going to say Danielle. I was going to say Jamie. I was like, no, it's not Jamie. It's Danielle. We got one, two, three. Everyone got one, two, three. Anybody got seven? We got a couple sevens. These are called outliers. I love this. Eights? Anybody higher than eight? All right. I'm going to leave. I'm going to zero these out. <coughs> just, I'm going to leave up the 15 just because I feel saucy. Mm -hmm. Delete this. Uh, oh. There we go. Beautiful. There's our graph. So, friends. Based on that data, what is our experimental average? I hear two and a half? Good. Let's, let's forget estimation for a second. Here's, here was our estimation. But we're going to do a statistical estimation now, where we're actually going to use that data to estimate our, uh, our average. Remember how we did this a few days ago? When I say a few days ago, I think I mean last Wednesday. We did it last Wednesday in class. I forget why we did it. Why did we do it? We did it because I was estimating this, this room, and we were averaging our guesses. Remember that? Where we kept track of our guesses in a table like this? Remember what we did to figure that out? Remember what we did to figure that out? Yes. We took each get, each, each of the data points and multiplied it by how many there were. Then that times that, then that times that. We added all that up, and then we divided by something. Remember what, the, what we divided by? Yes. Exactly, very nice. So we're gonna have to divide by the total number of flips that we did. Okay, so I'm gonna swing this over here. We'll use the sideboard again. All right, beautiful, friends. Yeah. Duct tape is a little bit more pliable than I thought it was. Okay. All right, so from our data, Sonny, tell me that again. I, I couldn't hear you, my friend, go ahead. Oh, no, okay. The average number of flips it's going to take until we see each side at least one time. We've got to take each of the numbers of flips times how many times we saw that in the top. So that's going to be uh, 2 times 47 plus 3 times 14 plus 4 times 8. Am I reading that correctly? Plus five times nine. Six times three. Six times three. Seven times two. Thank you. And then we're done? Yeah. And then the bottom, we have to divide by how many times we flipped coins, which would be the 47 Eight. plus Eight. good. That means I counted wrong somewhere. Because if I, if I counted correctly, it should be a multiple of five, right? Because you all flipped five times. So I counted wrong somewhere, but that's okay. That's fine. We got, the, we, we, we got, we got decent data. I'm going to cheat if it's okay with you guys. And, and you guys can crunch that through your TIs. And I'll show you shortcuts on how to do this eventually. And you can do it by hand, of course. I'm going to show you in Excel how you can do this. And if you're interested, I'll be more than happy to send this spreadsheet to you. You can actually have Excel do that times that. Then drag it all the way down. And then I can have it sum 
all that stuff up and also have it sum all this stuff up. So this 245 is going to be the sum of that numerator. Does that make sense? If, if you were to multiply all this out, you'd get 245 over this guy right here, which would be uh, the 83. And then we just do the division, and let's get it down to a decimal. I can't do that in my head. It looks like it's going to be ish three, doesn't it? Three, three ish, huh? Yeah. Good. A equals blah, divided by blah. 2.95, which is damn close to three. three, which guess what, is the exact answer. On average. Now, why is why do we not get exactly three? The exact answer, the mathematically exact answer is three, just so you know. Oh, but I didn't expect you to know that. Oh, I don't want you to know that. I want you to know that. Oh, like, like, like. I know, math knowledge is very common this time here. Yeah. I wanted you to know how to estimate it by getting data like we just did. So, let me ask a question. We did not get exactly three. Why not? Why not? You got it wrong. No, 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 no. <laughs> if I did, that's okay. The data still, the data, Excel didn't count. Right. Why didn't we get exactly three? Why don't you think we got exactly three? Somebody didn't guess. That, well, that's okay, too. That's all right, too. That's okay, too. But the deal is, if I asked you to do this experiment again, flip the coins again five times, or until you got, until you got one of each, do you think we'd get those exact same results again? We probably wouldn't, would we? But the answer would still come out to three. Please say that again, Diana, please. <laughs> but the answer would still come out to three. It would still come out to three-ish, close to three. It might even be a little bit over, 3.1 or something like that. The idea is you guys just did your first what's called sample of a population. The population would be every possible coin being flipped everywhere for infinitely many trials. Because don't you agree, it is possible to have to flip the coin 15 times until you get the second face again, right? You go, heads. There's a chance of that happening. Nobody in here saw that, but there's a chance of it happening, right? But in the population, you have to account for that. Or for the person that flipped heads, then flipped tails one million times, and then flipped heads again. It's a possibility. It's not likely, but it's a possibility. Once you account for all of that, and you put that into a t-table like this, the average comes out to exactly three. But who the hell wants to sit around and flip the coin two million times? You see how close we got with our estimate? Hot damn. Hot damn. I'm impressed. You should be too. But you see, the thing at the beginning is, you have no idea what the number should be, as you guys indicated. And this is fantastic. I love it. This was a total crapshoot. I had no idea what you guys were going to say for guesses. But I love this. I mean, you guessed. Two, three, three and a half, four, and five. And it looks like looks like the majority of us were guessing close to three, which is good. But on average, think of it this way. This somebody explained it to me. I did the math myself and worked out that it was three via the via the averaging. And then somebody said, somebody very young actually said, well, duh, like, yeah. Whatever you flip first, you're probably gonna flip the other thing next, which is wrong technically, but right. but on average, you're gonna flip one thing first, then the other thing next. And then the next thing has to match one of those two. And I was like, well, okay, your math's a little bit off, but that's, that's valid. So that would take three, wouldn't it? The first two generally aren't going to match, which again is not completely correct, but you can kind of argue it that way. Fair? Yeah, good. So there you go. That's a simulation. That's a simulation. All right, here's another one for you.